everybody, welcome to Maths. We've finished learning about division. Okay, so in this week we're going to start learning fractions. Fractions are when you cut something into smaller pieces. We're going to be learning about half and quarter. But before we do halves, I thought we would just quickly have another look at doubles and doubling. Do you remember when we did doubles? Have a look at these dice. There, this is one, this is double one. Remember? We said if you have a number and you put the same number with it, you double it. Here we have double six. Let's, do you remember the game we played with the dancing mummies? Let's go and play that quickly to help us remember. Okay, let's have a look. What is double eight? So, if I have eight, and I get eight more, how many will I have? Will I have two, four, or sixteen? Yeah, it has to be sixteen, doesn't it? Let's click it. Sure is. Good work, everyone. Okay, what is double six? I have six, and I get six more. So, six and six is, is it six? Can't be six. Eight? Don't think so. Twelve. Ooh, double ten. Ah, when we double ten. Ten and ten is, have a look, which one will it be? Eight, twenty or ten? We're making it bigger, so it's going to be twenty. Okay, one more. What is double nine? Double nine. Do you know? Is it? Oh, this one's easy. Will it be, if I have nine and I get nine more, will it be zero? No, it can't be zero. Will it be two? No. So it has to be 18. About the opposite to doubles. Hmm, let's find out. When we double, we have one number and we add the same to make it bigger. But what if I take away the same and make it smaller? Do you know what that's called? Let's have a look. So, here is if I start, when I do doubling, I start with a small number, six. Then I bring six more and I double it and have 12. But what if I have 12? So here's my 12. Look, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. What if I have 12 and I take some away? I've got two. I know that. Six. Oops. I have six and I have six. What if I take these ones away? What's it called? Do you know what it's called? It's called halving. I have cut it in half. Have you heard that word half? Half of the pizza for me, half of the pizza for you. It's called half. Okay, and that is what we are going to be learning to do. We're going to be learning to cut shapes in half and we're going to be learning to recognise what half of numbers are. And it's really easy. So let's have a look. How many balls can you see? How many balls do I have? That's right, there are eight balls. Now, something really important is when we cut that something can halve, halve it, we put it into two piles, okay? Or here, two baskets. But it has to be equal. Do you remember that word equal? It means the same, okay? We can't do it like this. We can't say one for me, one for you, one for me, one for me, one for me, one for me, one for you, one for me. Is that equal? Is that a 
are they the same number? No, they're not, are they? That's not fair. It's not equal. To half something, we have to make two parts exactly the same size. So let me fix this. If I put this one over here and this one over here, how many balls do we have each now? That's right, we have four. Four for me and four for you. So I know that half of eight is four. Okay? Half of eight is four. And this is my half. My half. And I get four. This is your half and you get four. That's fair. Right, let's have a look at the flowers. How many flowers are there? Easy, isn't it? Four. There's four flowers. So, I want to half the flowers. Half for me and half for you. How many flowers will we get each? Let's do it. One for me. One for you. One for me. One for you. We get two each. So, what is half of four? Yeah, one, two. Half of four is two. Okay. Oh, how many cars are there? Let's count them in twos to make it quicker. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. There are twelve cars. How many cars will we have each? Now, when the numbers get bigger, it takes a long time to pull them down one by one. When we did the flowers, oops, it was easy just to pull them down, wasn't it? Because there's only four. But now there's lots of them. So, I wonder, do I need to pull them down? Or can I just make two circles? They are already in rows, aren't they? How many rows are there? Two. So, I could just put a circle. Oh, it's a daisy. Here's one row, here's, and here's another one. Are they the same size? They are, aren't they? So how many cars in each? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six for me. One, two, three, four. Five, six, six for you. Half of twelve is six. Okay? If that's a little bit tricky, then it's okay to pull them all down one by one. But try to see if you can use your eyes to make equal um, groups. Right, now, what we're going to do Oh, let's have a look at this. This is a, we're going to say these to help us remember, okay? Half of 10 is five. Half of eight is four. Half of six is three. Half of four is two. Half of two is five. Do you think it's five? If I've got two and I, Break it into half, will I have five? No, because when you halve, it always gets smaller. Let's have a look here. Right, show me eight fingers. Put four fingers on this hand, four fingers on this hand. Okay, I have eight. I want you to halve it. Pull your hands apart. Eight, 
is half of eight is four and four. Fantastic. Do this one. Ten. What is half of ten? How many? Five. You've made two. Two groups. One group of ten. Two groups of five. Two fingers. One group of two. Half of two is one. Let's go back to our funky mummy and play a game, but this time we're going to do halving. Okay, let's have a look. The question is half of four. So get four fingers. Four fingers. Break it in two. Two. Half. Two groups, remember? What is half of four? Two. Oh, what is half of zero? That's a tricky one. If I've got zero and I cut it in half, I've still got zero. Okay, this one. What is half of eight? Okay, get eight, cut it in half, how many? Four. I want you to play this game, when you're very, very good at doing the numbers on here, come back to the menu, see this one? You're doing this one, halves up to 10. If that's really easy, I want you to try this one, halves up to 20, okay? You go and play that for 15 minutes and get really good at it. And I'll see you tomorrow.